Hi kids. So today we're going to read a book that's called About Birds. What do you know about birds? Well, I know birds live in nests like this. A bird's nest can look different depending on the bird that it is. There are different kinds of birds. There are owls, bluebirds, birds with tall, skinny legs, birds that sit on their nest like this, fat birds. There's birds that are yellow. And there are big birds like this that catch fish in the ocean. So in our book today about birds, we're going to learn different things about different kinds of birds, different information about different kinds of birds. So you may notice some of these birds in your backyard if you have a bird feeder and if not I'm going to tell you a website you can go to where you can watch birds at a bird feeder and think about the different birds you're seeing coming and going. As we read today about birds a guide for children by Catherine Sill she's the illustrator and the author I want you to think about what are you learning about birds as we read? Just open it up and let's see. Here's the title page about birds. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the title page about birds, a guide for children by Catherine Sill. Birds have feathers. This is a northern cardinal. And I know that because it says it down here in the darker words. It says northern cardinal. Can you see that? And here are the words. Birds have feathers. So that's how this book works. It's going to tell us something about the birds over here. It's going to tell us the name of the bird. And then it's going to show us a picture. What color is the northern cardinal? <gasps> Baby birds hatch from eggs. You see how it's hatching? This is the American robin. It has a nest up in the trees. And it lays eggs, and the other baby birds come out of the eggs when they're ready. Then what do you think Mommy Bird does? Yeah, she's got to feed those birds till they're able to fly. Some birds build nests on the ground. This is called an oven bird. Do you see its nest? There it is. Some build in very high places. Bald eagle. Wow, look at that big nest. That's a big bird. And some do not build nests at all. These look like penguins, but they're actually called common marais. Look at, they leave their 
Where do they leave their egg? Yeah, right out on the rock. I've learned that, that some birds don't even build nests. And other birds build really big nests in high places. Wow, learning a lot about birds in this book. Think about what you're about to learn. Birds travel in different ways. <gasps> Ooh. The Canadian geese. Look at this. They fly in a V formation. They're traveling. Most birds fly. Look at this little bird. A ruby-throated hummingbird. Wow. But some swim. Wow, look at this bird swimming. This is called a wood duck. And others run. This is a greater road runner. Where does the road runner live? By us? Do we have plants that look like this? No. The road runner lives in the desert. Far away. Birds may flock together. A flock means that they hang out and they eat and they live together. These are called red-winged blackbirds. And I don't know if you can see here, but you see how they have black bodies? But there's a little red feather, right? Let me see. Can you see the red feather? I see it. Kind of like right there, or right there, or right there. You see the red feather? Birds use their bills to gather food. See these? These are called bills. A hummingbird. This is a gross beak. This is a great, oh, this is a great blue heron. This is a gross beak, I'm sorry. A gross beak and a great blue heron. This is the cedar waxing. And this is called a fly catcher. Look at it, it's catching a fly. They all use their bills to eat their food, even though the food is different. What did you just learn here? Look at this picture. They sing to let other birds know how they feel. These are indigo buntings. So they sing to let other birds know how they feel. Hmm. So all those noises I hear from birds are them singing to tell other birds how they feel. That's interesting. Birds are important to us. You see how they have a bird feeder? Do you feed birds? This is someone's backyard or garden. Ooh, here's the afterword. The afterword explains about different birds that we saw on each page. So here's the cardinal. It's kind of hard to see because it's black and white. I'll read what it says. Feathers protect birds from the elements, from like the snow. 
because feathers are so light and strong, they enable birds to fly. So the feathers keep birds warm in the cold, but they also are light, so they don't, they're not very heavy, so that way the bird can fly. Here's the robin again. Although all birds hatch from eggs, different species, different types, have different nesting habits. Yeah, we learned about that. Some have nests in the trees. Some have nests on the ground. And like those, um, uh, the, like the common moray, they don't even put their egg in a nest. They keep it on a rock. So we can learn lots of information about birds from reading. So what did you learn about birds? Well, let's get your notebook out. Let's do a little writing. So here we are. So pause it while you get your notebook. Now, I'm going to use a marker so you can see it easy, but I want you to think about what is it you're learning about birds? Hmm. Well, I'm going to look back. You can rewind the video and look and listen again. Ooh, I know. I want to tell you that I learned that some birds swim like these woodland ducks. So I'm going to try and think about how I'm going to draw a woodland duck. Hmm. Well, I'm going to use the picture to help me. So I'm going to look at it. Hmm. There's a head, a little neck, and a body, and then a pointy, almost like a triangle, tail, feathers. Hmm. I'm going to try my best. It's not going to be perfect. So, let's see. I'm going to draw an oval for the head. Then I'm going to draw a triangle for the beak. You see? Dot for the eyes. And then I'm going to draw a little neck, like a rectangle almost. And then another oval for the big body. And it was swimming, so I'm going to draw the water like this. And then it had feathers that went out. It was almost like a big triangle. And then it had a wing. So there's my duck. It's not perfect, but I tried my best. Now, what did I want to write about the duck? Oh. I remember some birds swim. Hmm. Birds. B -b -b. Oh, B. Now, I'm going to use the book to help me write. So you can go back and you can find the word birds at the beginning when we looked at the title. Do you, which word begins with the letter B? B, B. Yeah, there it is. Birds. So I'm going to copy that word. B, I, R, Oh, tall D, D, and then an S. Hmm. Birds.
words can. K -k -k. Hmm. Remember my finger space. Can. K C. And then an. K an. I know an is spelled a n. So I can write a n. A n. Birds can swim. Birds can swim. Three words. So another space. Swim. Sw Im. I, I, I. Oh, I. Swim. M. M. Period. Birds can swim. What did you learn? I want you to show me what you learned about birds and what they can do um, from reading this book about birds. I want you to write one thing you know how to do. I'm sorry, one thing you know about birds from our book. So you can go back and listen to the story many times. And then have your mom and dad take a picture of your writing and send it to me. What you learned about birds. Have a great day, guys.